All right, so this one's for the people with the big heads or that like really small glasses. So, you know, we've all seen that person, their glasses are just digging into their head. They take them off and at the end of the day, you can still see that line, the indentation from them that runs down the side of the head. So if it's not a matter of the glasses being too small, what can you do about that? That's what we're gonna get into today. So let's get on over to that. Now, of course, first of all, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, subscribe, ring the bell so you can stay up to date on the latest and the greatest as we go through and see the different types of cool glasses out there, as well as fit and adjustment tips and tricks to kind of keep you in shape when you can't get back to the optician, guys like me, making sure that everything is fitting exactly as it should and feeling good for you too. Anyways, now on to what you actually want to know about is when glasses are too small or your head is too big, because not necessarily is it always that the glasses are too small, but sometimes for higher prescriptions in particular, you need that smaller lens to keep the lenses from being gigantic. Now, I had to actually find a super small kids frame. I was shocked how hard it was to find one small enough to really give that fit. And you can see these in particular, I have trouble even putting on and I'm tapping into my super villain persona here a little bit, I guess. But you can see most importantly is exactly what I was talking about. This squeezes really tight on the side of the head. And you can see, especially as it gets further back here, how over a full day of wear, that's going to really give that impression or an indentation mark as you've got these on. I can't even stand these for that short of a time. So could you imagine trying to wear that all day? It's just that constant pressure, like a migraine building up. And goodness knows I have dealt with enough of that that I don't need to add to it. I have enough problems and pains in my head without extra help there. So the main thing you want to do is when you've got these glasses that are fitting like that, you have to make adjustments in a couple places because you can't just do one thing and make it work. And really that's true for any adjustment. It's a system of adjustments that need to be done really to get that proper fit. You mess with one thing, it messes with other things and it throws everything out of whack. If you adjust and bend on enough pieces, it gets really weird. But for this guy here or gal, whatever, in this particular case, what you need to do is make an adjustment here and all the way back across the temple. Essentially, you want to turn this from looking straight up and down here to really following the form of the head. So you want to shape this, depending on the person, more like kind of a basketball type thing, actually. So, you know, we kind of need this type thing going on where it's wider right here where it crosses those temples. And that's, as you can see here, it's fine till about here. Right about here, it kind of starts touching, but then that pressure builds up as we get further back along that frame. So to actually make that adjustment, and I'm assuming you're somebody that isn't doing this with proper tools, and that's another story, but right here, we need to flare that edge out. And for most metal frames, that's gonna be pretty easy to do. Now, cellulose acetate frames, not as much, but those are gonna naturally kind of relax and stretch over time anyways. So you can get them through that first couple of weeks if you can tolerate and do that, it's really gonna help on the back end. But as far as this main part, getting that stretch into a metal frame that isn't gonna stretch on its own, you'll take and make this bend right at the front to actually bow that out right there. And again, depending on how small it is and the type of material, that may be easier or worse. Now you can see we got this one straight up, this one out crooked, and then you would match that same angle over on this side. Then the next step from there is actually bowing this to follow along in the head. And you'll do that, just like I mentioned in my case, it starts right here. So you'll put your thumb behind there, brace the frame at the front, and just kind of add that pressure there. You can see that starts to create that nice little arc, and you'll kind of amp up and do that as you go across that temple. And you'll do that until it follows along to the ear. And now you can see 
we've got nice little arc. So it follows back to the end of the head here. And I don't have my glasses on right now. You'll see, I have to hold it up because with that one out and not doing pressure, it would fit weird. But you can see now that pressure is relieved right here and it follows back along the head nicely. Now there is a little too much pressure behind the ear and that's an easy enough tweak to make. So then kind of the same thing in reverse. We'll take a little bit of that pressure out at the end. Not so easy to do sometimes. And then now still kind of the same thing. I'm gonna pull that here and you can see now it's perfect. It goes all the way back. It's not really compressing right here. It's not really pressing in hard back here. I can't show that on camera as much, but you can definitely feel it. Now, as far as that difference, I can do this much quicker when I'm not trying to demonstrate because I have done it a few times. And then back out on the end and you can see what the end result is. Like at the start of this video, well, not at the start of this video, the thumbnail actually, where we ended up. And that is one of these guys that actually fits halfway decently. So I can actually put that on and it stays in place now. And you can see here, you know, not a ton of pressure, not a ton of pressure. It's definitely its own look with a frame this small. Yeah, see, it's the evil villain in the movie. It's always the evil villain. And that's just how that goes. But now you've got a tip, it doesn't hurt anymore. I could actually wear this for a substantial amount of time if I wanted to. For me, this is not the look. That's me. Some people like that look. Again, I one that wears it all the time. We've seen Tom Selleck wearing those super small glasses. And, you know, we all have our own taste and preferences, what we like to look like. Now I've got to put this guy back. You see what I do for you guys? Uh, oh, the adjustments we have to make and go through. Fortunately for me, it's easy. For you, <laughs> we'll get there eventually, one thing at a time. I definitely encourage, if you thought this video was helpful, to check out the playlist I've got, and I will throw a card up here for that. It's just overall about general care and maintenance and adjustment tips and tricks for getting that pair of glasses to really fit and feel good. I don't know, especially with COVID these days, shops are shut down more, there's crazy snowstorms that shut down everything. And you can't always get to someone to fix it perfectly when you need to. So for those of you that are in that situation, I've got your back and I will get you taken care of one way or another, even if that means you have to take care of yourself. <laughs> we all need a little help sometimes, right? This will at least get you somewhere tolerable until you can find someone to make the proper adjustments in all of the correct ways, preferably without breaking the frame. And, uh, you know, I didn't get into this and I will just real quickly on acetate frames. I mentioned they were going to stretch a little bit naturally over time. And you can see that material's got some nice flex into it. So they're going to, once you put it on, this one is not terribly small, but you can see the frame is actually bowing just ever so slightly. And with those acetate frames, particularly newer ones, especially cheaper ones that haven't already been pre-cured in the producing process, they're gonna relax and stretch just a little bit over that first few weeks of wear. And then we can come back in once that's happened and make the adjustments here to get everything in place. And honestly, any of my acetate frames that I know are gonna have a little bit of a stretch and cure time after that first fitting, I do that. We'll do kind of a basic adjustment and you know go out in the world for a couple of weeks when you feel it's loose, come back and see me, then we'll get the proper final adjustment in. And that's just how you have to do it. Now, if you do have an acetate frame and you're needing to make that bow in adjustment to really get that snug, good feel, I'll link up a video on how to work on adjusting plastic frames because it's a little bit different process. There's some more things to keep in mind as far as heat and that sort of thing. Now, I will stop boring you on this one. <sighs> And we can do one master video one day, an hour and a half on the proper adjustment. Nobody's gonna watch that. We'll do it in little bits like this. Maybe we'll throw them all together when it's all done. For now, the series, the playlist, that's the place you need to be. <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling and I will catch you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on it or if there's a particular adjustment that I haven't done yet or you have any other ideas. Let me know down in the comments below. I love the suggestions from you guys. Helps me out a ton in keeping new content coming. So thank you for that.